Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on where you are in the world. This is Gloria White and Annie Dog coming to you from Utah, USA. Today we're going to be in the book of Proverbs in the Old Testament in the King James Version of the Holy Bible. And I hope everyone's having a blessed day and feeling good and feeling God's love and just knowing how much he loves us. And I hope you're counting all your blessings, even the little bitty ones, because they all add up. God is so good and he loves his children. And can't wait to be with him. Well, not that I'm separated from him now, but <laughs> you know what I mean. To be there in heaven. <sighs> to fall down at his feet. Wow. Amazing. The prospect of falling down at God's feet. Not falling down in my living room to worship him. But falling down right at his feet. That's going to be an amazing event. So stay hopeful and don't let nobody steal your joy. So we're going to be in uh, Proverbs uh, chapter 7 today. And this is um, Solomon speaking. It's his wisdom concerning God and man. And he's how he sits and thinks of all these things and and then he, it's all written down here for us, his wisdom. It's like, you know, having a conversation with him in, in maybe the, the palace where, where he was King Solomon, you know. So, chapter 7. My son, keep my words and lay up my commandments with thee. What did Jesus always tell us? Keep the commandments. Bind them upon thy fingers. Write them upon the tablet of thine heart. Say unto wisdom, Thou art my sister, and call understanding thy kinswoman. And kinswoman is near kin. That they may keep thee from the strange woman, or the immoral woman. Keep thy from the strange or immoral woman, from the stranger or the seductress, which flattereth with her words. For at the window of my house I look through my casement, or through the lattice, and beheld among the simple ones, I discerned among the youths, or the sons, a young man, void of understanding, or devoid. Passing through the street near her corner, and he went the way to her house. In the twilight, in the evening, in the black and dark night. And behold, there met him a woman with the attire of an harlot, and subtle, subtle of heart or lurky, a rebellious heart. Nope. Crafty. A crafty heart. She is loud and stubborn or rebellious. Her feet abide not in her house. Now is she without, now in the streets, and lieth in wait, lurking in wait at every corner. So she caught him, and kissed him, and with an impudent face, or a defiant or shameless face, said unto him, I have peace offerings with me. This day have I prayed my vows, paid my vows. Therefore came I forth to meet thee, diligently to seek thy face, and I have found thee. 
I have decked my bed with coverings of tapestry with carved works or let's see colored coverings of Egyptian linen with fine linen of Egypt. I have perfumed my bed with myrrh, aloes, and cinnamon. Come, let us take our fill of love until the morning. Let us solace or delight ourselves with loves. For the good man, or the, my husband, is not at home. He has gone a long journey. He hath taken a bag of money with him and will come home at the day appointed, at the new or full moon. With her much fair speech, or by her enticing speech, she caused him to yield. With the flattering of her lips, she forced or seduced him. He goeth after her straightway or immediately, as an ox goeth to the slaughter, or as a fool to the correction of the stocks, or, let's see, as a dog to bonds, as a lamb to bonds, stocks or chains, till a dart strike through his liver, an arrow, as a bird hasteth to the snare, and know it not that it is that it is for his life, or would take his life. Hearken unto me now, therefore, O ye children, and attend to the words of my mouth. Let not thy heart decline to her ways, or turn aside to her ways. Go not astray in her paths. For she has cast down many wounded, yea, many strong men have been slain by her. Her house is the way to hell, or Sheol, going down to the chambers of death. So she was a harlot, and by her flatterings, she seduced men into her bed to come into her bed and lie with her. And Solomon's warning the men, don't be deceived, don't be taken in by her lying lips, by her flattering eyelids. Don't be swayed into her bed, into a bed of sin that will lead to hell. Solomon was indeed very wise. And it's nice that we can share in his wisdom and learn things that will preserve our life and keep us from Sheol, which is hell. Try, try to be good. God knew we would never be perfect. From the foundations of the earth, he set his son. He set him up to come to save us. And he did come. And he did die. And he arose from the dead, defeating death. And what is death? Death is sin. Sin is what will give us convicted to hell. Seek forgiveness often with a really sorrowful heart. Don't just say the words, mean them. God doesn't look on people. He's no respecter of persons. He doesn't care if you're rich or poor, if you're fat or skinny. He doesn't care if you're um, good looking or homely what God looks upon is our heart and it doesn't matter if you live in a big house or a little house or have no house <laughs> it's irrelevant all of that is just irrelevant it's things of the flesh 
but our heart, our heart. When he would punish the children of Israel and he would come back to him, he said, I will give you a heart of flesh, a living heart, not a heart of stone that they had developed when they turned from him and went into sin, worshiping false idols, building things in the oaks on the hillsides that, that they brought offerings to and burned incense to and worshiped rocks and carved wood that can neither breathe nor speak. But our living God, our loving God has such an amazing way of leading us. I was listening to my um, friend Shira Shante. She has a really good channel. She comes on really late at night. And uh, I enjoy her um, her teaching and searching and through the word of scripture. Oh, last night she was uh, analyzing the word resist and, and what it really means to resist. You know, to resist evil and um, to do good in different ways to resist. But um, uh, you guys should go check her out. It's Shira, S-H-I-R-A-H, -H, and the last name is Shante, C-H-A-N-T-E. Anyway, I think we're becoming good friends. And um, it, it I, I love studying the Word of God in depth, you know, and and making all the making all the connections and and fitting everything together as God intended. The Holy Bible is a love letter from Him to us for us to learn, for us to understand Him, for us to understand His ways. Oh my goodness, he is so good. But I want to apologize last night. Um, I, I had to uninstall Facebook because it eats up like five gigabytes of data in my phone. And so that's why my video got turned off. But I had downloaded it because my niece um, had had a big surgery. And then poor thing had another problem and um, her, she had a cyst on her ovary and it twisted. It was terribly painful. And the surgeons were so backed up that she had to wait over the whole entire weekend and into Wednesday before she could have the surgery to fix that. And she was still trying to get over the first surgery. So if you can keep her in your prayers, that would be awesome. Her name is Tracy. And uh, she's a delight. She's a lot like her Aunt Gloria. She calls me Aunt Glow. <laughs> but um, she's a sweet child. I say child. She's in her 40s now. She's a year younger than my daughter. And um, she would say, I love you with all my heart and a tiny piece of liver. <laughs> And a little piece of liver. <laughs> sweet child. Anyway, she grew up to be a sweet woman. She's a very good mom and a wife. And life is good for her. But she's um, had these health problems. So if you could keep her in your prayers, that'd be awesome. And as always, <laughs> you know.